Hi, this is Yashika here and I'm from Bangalore and I have completed my master's in digital communication and networking and I'm a graduate in telecommunication engineering. So as a part of a presentation, I have considered antenna to be the today's topic. So in this video, let us find some of the information regarding the antenna. We all know very well that antenna is one of the emerging technologies in today's wireless communication systems. So in order to communicate between the two points at a larger distance, there was a need for some technology as an improvement given to the wired communication system that actually made up a invention of something called as the antenna. So what had actually happened in wired communication system is we all know very well that in wired communication system the communication has been limited to some distance. So after that distance the communication was not possible. In order to give the communication over a larger distance there was an invention of the wireless communication system. So finally we can say that wireless communication system is nothing but a improvement given to the wired communication system to connect the two points over a larger distance. As a definition of antenna, we can define antenna as a system, a device which actually converts the electrical signal into electromagnetic waves. So here and also the worst words also takes place. So the Antenna actually converts the electrical signal and into electromagnetic waves and helps in the transmission of the signal over a larger distance. In this antenna, we have the two parts, the transmitter antenna and the receiving antenna. Transmitter antenna is the antenna that actually transmits the signal and receiving antenna receives the signal. The word itself says transmitter and receive. So the transmission and receiving takes up in a separate manner. And altogether we can see the arrangement of the metallic conductor in the form of transmission and reception actually forms an antenna. So antenna is made up of a metallic conductor. It is an arrangement of metallic conductor. And also there are various types of antenna. There are the omnidirectional antenna, directional antenna, wired antenna, aperture antenna and also there are various other types of antenna like Yagyuda antenna we have and also many many different types are there. Among them the main concept actually relies on the directional antenna and the omnidirectional antenna. So in the directional antenna, the reception and transmission of signal is being taken up in one particular direction. There will be an angle in which in that particular angle, the transmission and reception will take place. When there is a difference in that angle, there will be no transmission or reception. But in an omnidirectional antenna, the transmission and reception both will take at all the direction that is in any particular direction the antenna will be able to receive the signal and also the transmit the signal so the word itself says it is omnidirectional so in all the direction the reception and transmission is possible and for all these functionalities the radio waves is the signal that has been used so radio waves actually helps in the transmission of the signals over the antennas fine so now let us see what are the advantages of this antenna so the main advantage as i said you there will be an efficient communication between the two points so as a additional of this we can also say that there is a signal consumption will be less very less very less signal consumption will be there and also the efficiency of transmission will be low in a very efficient and effective way 
Fine. Now let us see what are the application of this antenna. We all know very well the application of this antenna. It has been used in the point to point communication, the radar communication and also it is used in the TV broadcasting. It can also be used in the wireless LAN communication. So apart from this we know it has been widely used in point to point communication in all the mobile based applications. So this is one of the basic information regarding the antenna there are much much more domain topics in the antenna but for the video purpose i have considered only the main points that has to be there in the antenna understanding so that's all for this thank you so much